And welcome everybody to our last match of today between Moscow 5 and Rise Gaming. The winner of this match will go through into the next round. In the next round they will be facing up if we already have decided the person for that. Let's give a quick look at it. Yes, the, w the winner of this one will be playing versus London Conspiracy in the quarterfinal, which is also best of one. This is the last match of today. I'm going to say one more time between Moscow 5. And Rise Gaming, Mortality, Mor Mortality, what is wrong with me today? Morality yes, class, I of am, course, I'm, I mean. Of course, I'm Mortality. <laughs> Obvious. No, <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, this day. Sorry. But yeah, so, both teams, if they want a chance to get through, they have to win this. And, team ban. well, both teams are playing with a lot of standings, if you look at it, so. Not full teams, but. Yeah, what well, they come up with, we'll see what they come up with. Once again, Moscow 5 do pick up a Beastmaster and another Shrub. No, wait, Beastmaster was picked up by um, Power Rangers last game, yes, I believe. They, yeah. But they did pick up the Lashrock, so they're going to pick up that up. And, and apparently they like playing the Lashrock. Lashrock is pretty strong here at the moment. A little bit, a little bit low in HP though, that's... Team Rise Gaming, they answer back with a DK and Fizars, but they won't be able to get their hands on the draw, which is instantly bent out by Moscow. I mean, it's obvious, Draw and Visage is the one of the most disgusting combos, if you can pull it off. The familiars with the Precision Hour is just Towers, goodbye Towers. What Towers? Especially since they got the DK as well, they have they have a lot of, they would have had a lot of pushing power with the Draw. They still do, I mean, Visage on his own, as we saw with the uh, last few games during this patch, has been pretty strong. Yeah, but without the Draw, I still feel like he's a little bit like Luster. Well... We'll see what they start with him. I feel like Dragonite and Visage. Like, when Dragonite goes into his ult, he'll be able to do something, <laughs> at least, I guess. He'll uh, do a lot. Yeah, he'll do a lot. I mean, it's, it's what you want to use when you want to, when you push, but... Yeah, we'll see what they can do with the Visage. Yeah, Ebello actually said that there is only, what is it, 29% or something for... Uh, chance of Rise Gaming winning this one. Yeah, 29%, so... I would give them a little bit more. I would give them like 35 to 40 versus Moscow 5. But both of them playing with an awfully lo uh, big amount of attendance. Like, all bets are off. Oh, wait, they aren't. <laughs> They're all on. <laughs> Who's gonna win their bets today? Uh, yeah. Whatever. With Visage, it's. Ooh, a PL. Well, that's a pretty strong hero. Like, Lashbrook is pretty fucking weak versus a PL. These monsters, Wild X's are. Good. His roar is hard because you don't usually know who's the real one. The uh, like good things to work to find the real one is maybe good to fail because the real one will be purple. It'd be hard for him to lock down all of yet. Earth Shaker. But they instantly pick up the Earth Shaker, which is Radiant right team. choice. I mean, it's like, oh, so the PO is going to start attacking the Earth with 100 illusions? No, Biggie. We have an Earth Shaker. We can just Echo Slam and kill the PL. Although it's not. Something you want to do all the time. You have to do a little bit. Edit. You can actually touch the, the Echo Slam with a nice. Time. It but has of course, to be you need very to get well off. time though. Yeah, but you need to get it off. We'll see. Oh, yeah. We... Like a lot of counter picks. Wow. Well... Rise Gaming goes old school. Very old school. My god, this was TI3 strats right here. Potopus, PL, Infinity Mana, Turn out Spirit Lands, ignore whoever the fuck is on your lane. <laughs> oh, sh that is. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I've been in the combo. We did cast this combo once, like in the base camp finals, but then it just kind of fell apart on itself, so it wasn't too good. And let's see if Rise Gaming can actually do better with it. Five yeah, because. Remaining. I, I just, you know, it's I enjoy it. I enjoy old school. I just enjoy the new PL as well, like he is way more fighting oriented than the old one, so. Not like, oh, let's split push the whole time. Let's farm for 70 minutes and then win. Hey, I remember though that Kothal's Mon League was buffed, Chakra Magic was buffed. Like, oh wow, well, Chakra Magic was buffed extensively, you have to remember that. Yeah. It reduces cooldown. That's a first. <laughs> and it's gonna be a really annoying with this PL Spirit Lands. Oh yeah, I and just noticed. And Moscow 5 actually uh, also pick up the Shadow Fiend here. A little bit 6.83 ish, but still. 
from pickup here, and it is actually able to fairly effectively clear PL's illusions. At least if you can Boss hit race. them with the race. We end with the. Uh... What problem is though in my eyes, like you can easily doppelganger out of Requiem of Souls. Obviously, but I think as well that, and you know what? Even if Shadow Fiend, like Shadow Fiend, is really good against squishies. Kothlo is really the only squishy I see right now. PL can doppelganger. Visage has naturally has a huge amount of armor, and Dragonite is Dragonite. He also is very squishy. So, Radiant team pick. The hard pressed choice, to be honest. Yeah. Like he's still a good hero. Don't get me wrong. He can farm incredibly quickly, but he's not going to be able to do much if he doesn't get the Requiem off well. And not really. Wouldn't well, he be able to hit it? But yeah, he can farm his way back into the game. That's that's the thing he's got going for him. So, let's go five. Watch out. Like Broth Mother is like one of the most bent heroes versus Rice Gaming. Like they don't want Rice Gaming to play Brood Mother. They hate. They don't. They just don't want to. Reserve time. I can understand why Broad Mother is just such an old hero. They do have Earthshaker though. Timber saw. Well, I mean, it's actually to be honest, even if they would have picked the Earthshaker, the. Uh... I mean, if they wouldn't have picked Broodmother, oh, here's a Timbersaw. So if they would have picked Broodmother, then it wouldn't have been that bad because they still have the Earthshaker. And that Timbersaw, I like that Timbersaw. He can actually pretty much blow up anybody in this. And he's gonna, and he can very, and he can annoy Beastmaster very well because he has that stat drain on his uh, Whirling Death, which makes him such so annoying to strength heroes. It's just an extra, so much. That you just lose. As I said, he can burst on anybody really in Moscow. Don't have a tanky agility hero, maybe an intelligence here. They uh, might get one now, though. They might get one now, though. Yeah, but who are they gonna get? They need a safe lane. Or if they're gonna run Shadow Fiend safe lane? Leshrak, maybe? So I don't yeah, well, I mean, they did run Leshrak safe lane last game, so we might see that again. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be looking at another support. Probably, yeah. Someone who can roam, maybe? No, but Earthshaker can roam, so probably someone who protects the Shrak. Yeah. This, this message was a visage that was protecting her last Shrak. I don't think we'll see that one again. The other demon is still a possibility. And being picked up today a couple of times, fairly effectively as well. Yeah, but what? Yeah, and he has pretty good kill potential with the Shrak as well, so... And because you can disruption just... into split earth. Yeah, you can even you can set up so many things with disruption. Actually, disrupt someone. You can after that you can just do a perfect block with Fizz. You have all the time to position yourself. These monsters can just slowly walk up there and get the roar off. Like, you have a lot of things. Even with the Requiem, it's quite synergy. Yeah, although he'll have to watch out since one of Shadow Demon's core problems is the fact that he is squishy. Yeah, but if you just use him as a setup, like who cares if he dies then? Like, you get get like three kills. I will give my Shadow Demon any time of the week. I guess. So we can we definitely can see the lames of Rice game. It's going to be PL Dazzle. and PL, oh, but they got a Dazzle instead, which is um, less like you could say he's less good than less uh, than Shadow Demon, but um, he has the sustainability. That's the thing. And uh, and even if you try to blow up somebody, he if so. Yeah, there you go. So I. Yeah. But it's looking to be pretty standard lanes on the side of Rise, to be honest. Yeah, Rise lanes are like completely obvious. Or maybe not, since that's. Yeah, yeah, no. It's... Are okay. they gonna go aggressive? Is this. Off lane and gonna fury. Are they. Well, anyway, you wanna present Rise then? Since you're rather talking about them? Yeah, why not? We have uh, King playing the PL, we have Lair GG playing the Visage, we have Rockin playing the Keeper of the Light, we have Forgotten Fury playing the Timbersaw, and last but not least we have Grass on DK. And on the side of Moscow 5 we have Limbo playing the Beastmaster, we have Go Black playing the Earthshaker, we have Bignum playing the Shadow Fiend. Afterlife will be playing the Dazzle, and last but not least, ZXC seconds. will be playing the Shrock. Cool play to actually be making it, but if Hidden Fury tries to uh, timber chain to something, you split earth to destroy the, the trees. Yeah, but you need to time it incredibly well, so... But as I said, it would be a fun work. play to make. If he uh, does it, I will make an highlight of it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> we'll see.
Oh, but it looks like there's going to be a lot of rune contesting going on here. Well, yeah, get this rune. I think we con grew, yeah, congratulations on guessing that they were going to get a timber saw. Yeah, this is just going to be both runes away of uh, L5. Which is kind of bad because that e that pushes their win rate up by, uh, if I remember correctly, it was like 70% or something. 70. So, Ryze is going to have a harder time, but who knows? Who knows? It did go the way of Shed have been though, which is bad actually. <laughs> Because it makes mid so much harder. Yeah, Gress is gonna have a pretty shitty time. Well, I don't like their, uh, the Kuriner almost got 5. Oh, yeah. Oh, my favorite. Oh, no. This... There's gonna be the Fisher block on Lair. He's gonna be the first block. He's gonna get the way of ZXC. I was already questioning. He actually did this uh, aggressive Thrall lane, and so far, not working out. Um. Yeah, some interesting lanes here, but... Beastmaster is ahead because he got that bounty rune, and that's gonna make... Uh, although, I mean, Timber Soul is tanky. He doesn't have to care. It's, I think the bot lane is pretty even. Still level 6, 10... It really just depends on who can get the jump of the other. Even then, it might just be... Re um, reactive might just save the life of Timber. But still, well, the extra split. Because Rar will do a lot of them soon. And the mid lane is already showing it's rearing its head. There's a bottle up on Dragon Knight already, but uh, what can he do? Oh, he's keeping up so far. Like, this minus uh, damage reduction to Big Num is actually pretty good. Yes, yeah, because. What? Well, that was a random race. <laughs> he didn't get the last hit, though. Anyhow. They actually have. The PL. That's what this, is... this top. Aggressive try though, I don't think this is working. It's not working yes. at all. The moment they're not really getting the kills with it. That XC is still farming fine. Yeah, I was not wow. getting a lot. Well, that was um, a wasted Fisher, you could say. It's... something? It's something. Uh, it looks like, ooh, it looks like Timbers could be in a bit of trouble here. Nice spot. Well, he'll just out tango the damage then. Um, he is a mango. With a mango, you're all fine. Yeah, you know what? Mango is such a good item for Tim Soy. It's it's lovely really to game, just yes. have that instant mana burst in you. It's better, way better than a clarity. In, on Tim in any case. And uh, the plus one uh, HP regen is always. And, oh oh no, oh. now he might have been a little bit too poor. He's gonna use his whirling dead though, and Limbo, he backs off of that. He just won World X's and he's actually gonna kill him. Yeah, but, uh... Oh, there's gonna be the Fissure on middle on grass. He is stuck. He tries to walk out there. We need one more race. But this is not enough. Six charges are there and Go Black can't get in there. Oh, but he still might. Still might. Oh, big number. He's diving. Max one range? Ahead. Max range? Oh, no, that's not enough anymore. He's gonna give this one up. He's gonna give a nice wave to DK though. Much needed XP for him. Level 4 for Slough. There are not too many not denies enough. actually from uh, Big Nom. This is actually about it. You want, you want more denies on a Shadow Fiend though. Two denies on a Shadow Fiend is poor. Yeah, that is not uh, what you're used to see. And slowly but surely, Tibbetsaw is gaining survivability. The problem is, he still only has level 1 reactive. Which arguably was buffed because it was buffed to have five stacks now, so you have that extra little bit of regen, extra but armor. Great the problem support. is these, yeah, you know, these balls though are just they just they're just so annoying. But they they deal about what ten damage. Like shield is fun. <laughs> anyway, now once again, this aggressive trialing top has done absolutely nothing so far. They give one away, one kill. They're not really keeping ZXC from farming. I'm actually gonna give up another kill here on there. And they're not punishing that one kill. The, that Illuminate is not doing anything because it's a level 2 Illuminate. It wasn't even fully charged. Uh, level 1 Illuminate, I'm sorry. It's a level 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 2 on the... Now uh, level 3, but it's a level 1 Illuminate. Level 3 Keeper. Oh, it looks like, looks like Timbersaw might be in a bit of trouble here. 
And he's dead. Any gold? About 500 gold and 400 XP going away, please, Master. Or 500 gold swing and. Oh, they're trying to get afterlife here. They need a little bit more. He has a grave, though. So even if he gets low, he can just grave himself and walk away. Won't be able to get him either. And does our Shaker want to try and fish here just for a fact? But no, Lesh Rock isn't anywhere near, so. Can't do that. Oh. Oh, Lair. He's, he's again fairly far forward. I think they want to go for him right now. They can walk in and he's block him off. Bait something, but where's this? They can't bait anything. Like, oh no, he walks into the side shop. He's gonna get stunned. He's gonna get killed here. Right away, and they're not gonna get Goblack here on the side either. <sighs> he's a, he's the start movements. rotating out. Try, try, try and do something else, because this is just hindering oh, PL more. This is just giving up kills all the time. 0 to 4 already. Not good. It's good at all. But look at that worth. It's already 4,000 for, for, for M5. That's after 6 minutes. It's not, that's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, they're that's, they're losing all of their lanes, but they're trying to rotate in a little bit more. Lair GG, he's going after Limbo here, running dead, doing a lot of damage. So Assumption is able to kill off Limbo here. Well, at least they finally understood. Oh, double ganger! Double ganger just in time for King to save his life. Very but. good. But at least they found out that the aggressive try was not working. Rotate around and make make sure that they can pick off the Beastmaster. At least they get that. So that's the first kill going the way of Rise. They need to start getting some levels on their rest. Like you need to visage on level 6. Kotl, it's nice to have a little bit more levels on him to just give more uh, mana and have your limited to do more damage, but he's not the biggest need. First need for them is to get visage level 6. Dodge level 6, get those birds up and make sure you have that, um, have the birds basically. <laughs> yeah, just map control, vision, or pushing power. And they're gonna look for big here. If you absolutely need it. There you go, there's gonna be the Dragon Deal there. However, Goblin is already there. He's gonna try and fish a rough lair here. He doesn't want him running in. There's a straight up TPO as well from Afterlife. And Grass is now stuck in Dragon Form with uh, pretty wasted, you could say. Well, it's a minute, so he can actually push. I think tower. Because Big Mom is gone, so he can actually maybe do some. Another rotating in there. They want to get this Timber Saw, but. Uh... Him with Hawk. Ooh, they could get him. Yeah, they've got three heroes now. And they've got him oh, they have a roar. Right. Oh, man. He's going to die before this roar is over. Or not. Yeah, he is actually going to get out. But it doesn't matter. Go Black was already waiting for this one. Ah. There you go, Will Eskis. I think if he just fissured him after that, he didn't have to, they didn't have to run after him like this. I uh, didn't have enough mana. He did. In the beginning, he used Enchant Totem. Oh, well, there you go. Something bad is happening. It would have been easier, but it doesn't matter. They get the kill anyway. And they're trying to go get ZXC here on top, and they're able to do it, but not without Lair dying first. <laughs> Lair is just dying. I think it's a bit of a repetition from last game, except the uh, Visage was exchanged with Puff. Oh, oh no. There. He's dead. That's that's the problem with Cuthle, guys. It's He explodes. Really, he Especially just explodes. Thanks. Full levels of rage. And, uh, Necromastery, full souls as well means that's a lot of extra damage going Bignum's way. Oh, man. If you get actually hit by this boar, you're so incredibly slow. So annoying. 40%, yeah. Oh, that's going good. They're actually gonna get top tower as well. Bignum, uh, King is trying something, but uh, it's not gonna do anything. Oh, but just look at the last hit, big num 53, then we have Limbo, 47, after that we have the DK, and they're gonna go over Gun of Rose Hughes, there's gonna be the follow-up spinner as well, keeping him there, Lightning, gonna kill him off. They're gonna they just turn to, this into a push. They need to start moving as a team, otherwise they're not gonna be able to get anything done. They don't even use the fortification here. But yeah, just to get back on it, like, their last hits are not good at all for Rise Gaming, they're pretty far behind. Well, if we look at that worth as well, it's like top 3, all from M5. And after the 900 gold, after ZXC, then finally there's grass. So. And they're actually gonna build a mecha on the Shadow Fiend. So they're gonna look for some early pushing together with him. Oh, they wanna find ZXC. 
Yeah, there you go. Chekrum is on the mark though, but ZXC is pretty fast. 380 movement speed. When a few gets in front of him, he's gonna use his warning that as well. Spitter off the mark. Chekrum this time is gonna miss and he has to cancel off the pursuit there because there is gonna be the back of Goblack using a Chen Totem. Ooh. Ooh, and that's a blown up bottle. However, there is going to be King. He's coming in. They're going to go block right now for Gun Fury. He's fairly low. Are they able to get him? Yeah, there you go. Lightning is enough to kill there. There's Afterlife. They're going to slow up Lair. He has full source assumption. But that doesn't matter for ZXC. They're just going to get another kill as well. Killing spree PL on the... Slowed. Oh, the boar, man. He has doppelganger, though. He can go to the low ground. To the river. Will he do it? But uh, I think Dazzle was anticipating that. Yeah, 20 oh, seconds. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. That was not the fight they wanted. <laughs> not at all. Missing all that. Timber saw missing all that though was uh, kind of bad. Yeah, the last check was. At least he managed to pick up the third kill on. What was it? Oh, Black died there, but yeah. they're gonna go in aggress already here. They're gonna. support though for like what three heroes? Really? Great. Yeah, Frank Great was got five. Three, two, twelve already. Let's look at that worth, and it's ten thousand. XP, about 7,500. About 1,000 uh, gold a minute going the way of Moscow 5. Well, poof. good luck, Rise coming back from this one. This is going to be tough. Very tough. They're going to lose map control. Aggressive wards are coming out on the mid lane. Res is fairly aggressive forward. He's going to get slowed. Illuminate. It's not going to hit anybody. They're already out, all the way. Is this the uh, what level uh, is anyway? Oh, but here comes the armor reduction. That's only level 1. So all oh, the Fissure. On the good side of Gress, he's going to get just... Stun locked down and killed with the razors. Oh, look at that Illuminate. Look at that Illuminate doing absolutely nothing. Oh, Lergy taking a lot of damage. There's gonna be the lightning on Lair. He, they just need one more hit and they're gonna get a big num. He's actually oh. gonna die for this. However, oh, forget him for He's taking a lot of damage. He, they just need a little bit more. There you go. Another lightning gonna kill him off. They're way too squishy. And this is. And, and I mean, like we said, uh, Shadow Fiend absolutely punishes squishiness. It is this. This bird here over here. Just easily won them the fight. Give him oh, the yeah. vision. And, and now King. Okay. He still has Doppelganger though, so he'll be able to get out. But yeah, oh no, Larry. He's on the wrong side again. He's gonna get rocked. He's just gonna get killed. TP reactions are coming in. But I think they're gonna be too late already because Larry is already dead. They're going to try and find uh, ZXC here, but oh, this is gonna be enough. Limbo, he's gonna get some damage. Another lightning coming out. Larry's dead as well. Now they're gonna go after Grass. What do they have left in the tank here for Rise? It's. I forgot the Fury, he's back again. He's gonna look for something. He's cutting down trees, he finds ZXC. But there's gonna be the Grave in time. He's really low on ZXC, they need to low... Oh, Echo Aww. Slam. Rass, he's gonna die here as well. They're gonna get ZXC, no, he has his wand. Oh no, King, you need to use Doppelganger if you wanna kill him right now. But he won't be able to do so, he's gonna die as well. Did, did um, M5 lose 81 during that fight? M5? Nope. Bad situation. <laughs> That's, uh... Five men wipe. Actually, Basically, yeah. About 3.6k in uh, in XP and just over 3k gold as well going the way of M5. And this is just going to be... <laughs> they even surpassed the 1k gold a minute. Rice play better versus PR. That's one thing for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. <sighs> Rice, what happened? Like this, this visage is not doing anything at all. Without the. Oh, and they, they just say the GG. They they don't want to play this anymore. And I can understand them completely. You don't want to get completely stomped. Okay. It's, it's a horrible feeling. Yeah, they just stop it out. They, they just call GG and they're f they want to end this. Lair will stay here just to end, let the end game end. Uh, that's gonna be Moscow 5 playing versus Scary Faces. Uh, no, actually, it's Power Rangers playing versus Scary Faces, but Oscar 5 will be playing versus Love and Conspiracy. Oh, yeah, oh, damn it. <laughs> damn me. Okay, I'm sorry about those guys, my bad. Anyway, oh, and, um, yeah, well, that was the last game for today because, unfortunately, uh, XPC versus, uh, who was it? Power Rangers? Was cancelled. Yeah. No, XPC versus Moscow 5 was cancelled. Um, but this is the final match for the day, and that also means we will do the giveaway now. Yeah, guys, I'm going to start the giveaway in one minute. F Point. One minute. There's one minute. I will tell you the plan. So you have a little bit more time then to follow us. So I'm just gonna go over show the commercial and draw. See you guys still.